What is up everybody? It's your boy Brando here with Brando Reviews and today we're checking out this Tangular Smart Media Player Android TV box right here. So it is kind of expensive, it's $249.99 on Amazon, but that does include a one year subscription to their service which allows you to watch basically everything, a $60 value included in the first year. However, every additional year you will have to pay the $60 price as well. So keep that in mind, this is $250, but it does come with a one year subscription to that service. So a little bit about the box here is, um, we'll just go ahead and talk about some of the specs of the box before we actually get into what the box can do. Um, the back here, it says it has a Amlogic 64-bit quad-core ARM Cortex A55 CPU, has a G31 MP2 GPU processor, four gigabytes of dedicated RAM, and this is a 64 gigabyte unit. Um, it does have 2.4G and 5G Wi-Fi, so it has a faster Wi-Fi if you're gonna use the 5G. It has Bluetooth, and it comes with an HDMI cable and everything you need right there in the package. So, just gonna see if there's anything else I can find on here. It says you can save money by cutting your cable now. Um, USB 3.0, it can do up to 8K resolution, so very high resolution device right here. Um, let's see what else here has a quad core processor instead of a dual core over twice the RAM of the competition and multiple different connection interfaces. So there's over 4,000 live TV stations you can watch with this. So before I bore you guys with just talking, let's actually get into it here and just take a closer look at it. Here it is right here at the top. You have the actual device right here. And we're gonna move a little bit closer now so you can see it better. All right, guys, so here we are. We're a little bit closer now, so we're just going to actually pull the device out itself here. This is the actual Android 9.0 TV box itself, and you can see it has some tape on it there to protect the uh, IR sensor right there, which picks up the remote, as well as you have a screen little protector here just to keep it looking pretty. Um, So let's take a look at the sides here. You have your USB 3 right there, regular USB connection right here. Have another USB right here. Looks to be probably 2.0 maybe. You have a micro SD card extender slot right here, so you can put more storage in here besides the included 64 gigabytes. On the back here, you have an ethernet in right here if you're gonna use wired instead of wireless. You have a headphone jack right here. You have an HDMI in right here. This will connect the box to your TV, of course. Right here is a optical audio inlet right here, so if you wanna get better quality audio directly to your device, you can do so right through there. And then you have your power cable here, which actually powers the device itself. Then there's nothing on this side here and there's nothing really on the bottom there to see. Very cool looking red top there. Feel like it might light up or something when we plug it in. We'll find that out. We'll set that down over here and we'll keep going into the box here. Have an instruction manual right here at the top that just tells you about it. Um, Nothing too interesting there that we really care to look at. We have a user guide right here, which just tells you uh, put batteries in the remote and how to use the device here, or what you can use with it. And here's the back right here. It comes with these three apps downloaded already. The Ting TV app, the YouTube app, and the Netflix app. So move that out of the way. Have your HDMI cable right here, it looks like. Let's take a look. Standard HDMI cable, very nice have a wall adapter right here. This is your actual, this is to actually power the device right here, just your typical DC power supply. This one is two amp output and a 0.33 amp input. And you get the remote control right here. Nothing special, just a nice basic remote control. Go ahead and open it up here and you can see it, put your batteries in right here. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna hook this up to the TV so you guys can get a general look at it and the interface of the device itself. All right guys, so we moved over to the TV area now. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna plug in the device itself. We have the power cable right here. I'm just gonna plug it into the back. We have our HDMI right here. I'm just gonna plug that into the back. And then we have our Tingular TV box plugged in. You can see the blue indicator light right there and the screen that says boot on it. So there is a screen right here. Um, before I said this was just for the uh, infrared for the remote, there is actually a screen and a clock built into here. You can see it says seven o'clock right there. Um, do need to adjust that. And we'll take a quick scroll up here.
and you can see that the device is already booted up and it's a very beautiful screen indeed. So we're gonna quickly put our batteries into our remote here real quick so that we can actually use the device. And we're going to put the battery door on and close it. And we're gonna back up now so that you guys can actually see it in action. So here we are now guys, and here's a quick look at the remote right here. You can see there's a mouse clicking button right here. This actually allows you to go into like a sort of cursor mode here and actually use this remote as a cursor. So you press it once, and then you can use these four different arrows up here to actually move the mouse head around, or sorry, the arrow head around. As you can see, it's above the Firefox now, it's above the wallpaper now, and you can use that to click. Alternatively, you can press it again and you can just go back to the old style where it just sort of goes through the bubbles itself and just disregards that cursor altogether. So I'm gonna go into the settings here real quick. All right guys, so here we go. We're just gonna quickly go through some of the apps in here real quick. As you can see on the far top left, you have YouTube, then you have Netflix at the top. You have file here, which allows you to access any files you have saved to your SD card if you put one in. Then you have apps over here. You press apps and you have all of these different apps already downloaded. You can also download any other app you want. You have Miracast on here so you can stream your phone, the Play Store, Netflix, um, Google. You can download just about anything you want. It's basically like an Android tablet on your uh, TV screen. And you can go down here and see all the different options here. Uh, YouTube and you can change your wallpaper too. You go down, you have settings right here. We took a quick look through those before. You can see you have network, accounts, apps, and et cetera through there. We'll go ahead and go back again here. Have your wallpapers, your Firefox browser right here, your Play Store here. And then once you get down here, you have some apps I'm not too familiar with. You have this A at the bottom corner here. Um, we'll be patient and see what this is. Looks to be a uh, browser of some sort here, a Sharky browser, or maybe some sort of movie watching app um, with free movies, probably. Over here, you have your settings again. You have Netflix, Prime. Right here, you have an S with a screen. We'll take a look here. Select your YouTube launcher. So this is just a YouTube Pro launcher, it looks like. And then this is just to watch YouTube here. So we'll go back. And then this is what you guys probably came here for the most. This is the actual Tangular. Um, sorry, this is the actual Tangula app right here. This has all the free movies and TV shows that are included with that subscription for the first year, as I talked about. You go over to series or movies, though, and there's not really anything there to see. You can see it just shows a number one with nothing. But you go back, though, to live TV over here. And you can actually get to watch live TV stations from anywhere around the world. Um, you see UK up here. So we'll just go to UK documentaries. And uh, you can see it has National Geographic, Discovery, um, Animal Planet, all the different documentaries right there. And you can see it live playing over there in the corner. Go back here. You can see you have all the different categories here for the UK. You keep going down, you go, uh, you get different countries here too. U.S., uh, we passed over uh, many different countries, Australia up there at the top. And let's go over to U.S. movies right here. You can see you have all these different channels that you can choose to watch movies from right here. We have FX, Freeform, Epic, Cinemax, Action Play, Hallmark. Um, HBO down here. And let's just go ahead and click one just to click it, see what happens. You can see it changes in the top sample there. You can click it again if you want and you get a full screen. So, you know, you're watching your free movies here basically. Um, or considerably discounted compared to watching on other places. Um, you can see the list goes on and on. Let's Try one more different category here real quick. I'm looking in the US, but you can obviously go to any other. Let's go all the way down here. Um, US, DE, IE, Ireland, Germany, uh, different stations for different countries and such. Um, but you can watch them all right here on your device. So let's go to uh, a lot of different sports down here too. I'm more of a movie and documentary guy, so we'll do documentary now. And you can see you have all these different documentaries and movie choices in here too. You can see it's pretty quick to load too. And then boom, you're up. Um, it's like you're just watching it live from your house right now. And uh, I think that's really cool. So 
we're gonna go ahead and go back here and uh, take one more quick look to see if there's anything else. There's this little launcher thing here, it looks like. Um, not really too sure about all of that. And then YouTube right there. So, you know, it's, it's very cool that you can actually watch these live stations without actually having to pay for it. Obviously, you're paying for the device. You're paying $60 a year after the first year of service. But you basically get to watch everything you want within that price. Um, plus, you know, YouTube, Netflix, everything like that. So I think it's really cool um, and it's very fluent the way I switched between the different channels. As soon as I clicked it, boom, I was there. I was watching it live. However, that depends on your Wi-Fi connectivity strength. We have really good Wi-Fi over here. But now let's go ahead and close up for the video. So there you go, guys. This was a quick look at the Tangula Android TV box right here. It's an Android 9.0 TV box and it comes with a one-year subscription to the Tangula service. Um, you do get to use all the different services as well. You can access the Google Play Store, Netflix, YouTube, all of those. But you do get access to the Tangula app itself, which has over 4,000 TV shows that you can watch and movies all live um, from this device right here. So all you need is Wi-Fi for that. You don't have to pay for cable service or anything except for that uh, monthly fee or sorry, that yearly fee of uh, $60. I know I keep mentioning that, but it is a very important thing to keep in mind when buying this unit. However, that is included in the first year. You can pick this up on Amazon for $250, and that does include the one year of subscription. And it is a Android 9.0 TV box, and it has a quad-core processor with 64 gigabytes of storage and 4 gigabytes of RAM. Has many different input slots here, like we talked about. We have the two USB 3.0s, the HDMI, the optical audio, the micro USB, and of course your power in right here. And the nice little screen on the front here that tells you the time and Wi-Fi. It's not accurate right now. Actually, it probably is about two, actually. And it says it's connected via Wi-Fi right here. A little hard to see there, but I tried. And then you have your little indicator light right here, which reacts with the remote, as you can see, to turn it on and off. And here's a remote again right here, so... Nothing too crazy, but overall, I think it's a very good deal, um, especially if you're considering trying to cut the cable. You buy this device once, you pay that price every year, and you basically get cable for what, like uh, $5 a month or something. And you get access to all the new features such as mirror cache. You can stream your phone directly to it, YouTube, Netflix. It's just an Android TV box with a really cool service offer. So if you guys are interested, there will be a link down below. You can purchase this on Amazon or on Tangula's website. If you guys got any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll get right back to you. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and have a good one.